Hello, I'm Lost, and in this video we are going to install Love, uh, which henceforth I'm probably just going to call Love because uh, in English we don't really have the O with the umlaut. So to install, we head to love2d.org. Generally speaking, you're going to want to install the 62-bit installer um, because I, I don't think I've ever seen a Love project that actually makes use of 64-bit Love. So. Um, generally speaking, 32 bits fine, or you know what, go ahead and use the 64 bit version. Um, just know that they're not necessarily 64 bit um, love files are not necessarily backwards compatible with 32 bit. So if you're looking for forwards compatibility, go with 32. But as you can see, for Mac, there is only a 64 bit version. Um, so, you know, your mileage varies on that one. Uh, the current release as of January 2016 is version 0.10.0. So, you know what, we're just going to grab the 64-bit installer. Because why not? So that should download from the Bitbucket site. And we will cut to when it's downloaded. No, we won't. It's very quick. It's not a big file. So we're going to run it, we're going to agree, we're going to install it, we're going to install the shortcuts, and it's done. Very quick, very easy. It's now in my start menu. And if we run love, we are... <laughs> oh, virtual box issue, okay. I will be back. Alright, we're back. Let's try again. Okay, looks better so far. There we go. So when you load up the executable file, um, you'll see a startup screen that tends to change on every major version. Um, so version 0.10.0 is codename Supertoast. Um, and as you can see, we've got no game running. So that's what you get if you run the executable. Generally speaking, uh, you actually use the executable um, to execute a .love file. Um, so on its own it doesn't do anything specific. All it really does is facilitate the running of a game. So that's the first video. Uh, in the next one we will set up a programming environment. Thanks for watching.